Well, on to another story that we're tracking for you today, this having to do with North Korea, as that country appears to have lashed out over failed diplomatic talks with the United States. The regime has reportedly launched short-range weapons off its eastern coast. Some are calling that move a provocation, but as Sasha Petrosik tells us, the U.S. so far is responding with caution. It's not clear exactly what North Korea launched this morning. South Korea's military originally called it a barrage of short-range missiles, maybe new ones, maybe older models. And maybe, it later said, some other kind of projectiles, perhaps shot from a rocket launcher. Whatever they were, they flew up to 200 kilometers east and splashed into the Sea of Japan, looking much like North Korea's previous missile tests last launched in 2017. It certainly got the attention of Washington and its allies, exactly as it was probably designed. Pyongyang's rhetoric has been growing steadily sharper since North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump broke off talks, Trump refusing to roll back economic sanctions on the North, Kim refusing to dismantle his nuclear missile program. The White House says it is monitoring this situation. South Korea urges the North to stop raising military tensions on the peninsula. But both countries are signaling that their response to the launches will be a cautious one. Seoul and Washington likely just firing back with words. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Beijing. Now let's talk about Donald Trump because the U.S. president has responded to the reported launch. He tweeted the following this morning saying, quote, anything in this very interesting world is possible. But I believe that Kim Jong-un fully realizes the great economic potential of North Korea and will do nothing to interfere or end it. He also knows that I'm with him and does not want to break his promise to me. Deal will happen. Again, that is Donald Trump. Now, for more on the story, we did also speak with Tina Park this morning. She is the executive director of the Canadian Center for the Responsibility to Protect. Take a listen to what she told us about why the South is being so cautious in how it describes the type of weapons involved. They're calling it projectiles because uh, I think uh, they are really interested in keeping the momentum going uh, with the diplomatic efforts that were made between President Moon Jae-in and Kim Jong-un. Uh, once you frame it as a missile, it is more potent, uh, and we would have to distinguish short-term versus uh, uh, medium-term uh, and long-term kind of um, uh, ranges for missiles. And uh, it would really uh, give more significance to uh, the test than it actually is. So I think at this point, point uh, I would consider not as significant as some of the other tests that North Korea had tested before. And I think it's important to acknowledge that this test was most likely just uh, a gesture to uh, let the Americans know that uh, North Korea is still there and uh, they're interested in moving forward. Uh, we are seeing a bit of a stall in the diplomatic efforts to denuclearize, uh, and we've seen the failure of the summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un. So I think it is very important at this point to acknowledge that North Korea is still a threat to uh, regional and international security.